Hi, welcome back to Chicken Police. Let's uh, talk to Natasha and see what uh, what's all of this about, actually. Uh, yeah, let's... This woman's aware of her charm and she knows how to use it. A rare and dangerous combination. Uh -huh. I've seen people like that. Oh. This woman's a okay. Let's see, what do we have here? People, Natasha. Uh, she has remarkably green eyes and she definitely and she is definitely in trouble, so am I. Hey, okay. who's uh Even Even Ivan's currently busy with some kind of meat substitute business. That's what he and his assistant told us anyway. Uh, he has quite the strange. He was acting quite strange, and he has stated when I mentioned how he met Natasha. It would be interesting to hear the story from another point of view. Hey, right. yeah, well, there was one more clue. Ivan's trying very hard to change the subject when it comes to threats. He obviously knows more than he's willing to tell. All right, let's hear from Natasha then. How do you like your bourbon, Mr. Featherland? Inside In me. a glass. But thanks, I had a couple before I came. I feel like this may be a long night. I hope it doesn't bother you if I have one myself. I get offended if women don't drink in my company. Oh, you are a funny guy. So I've been told. Anyway, uh, lovely room. Yes. Look, Mr. Featherland. It's sunny. Saves us a lot of time. Okay, Sonny. So, why am I here? You know, men tend to babble in my presence. It must be exhausting. It is. But you're not the type to beat around the bush. Is it too banal if I tell you it's an occupational hazard? Terribly. So can I start the unpleasant questions? I've asked you here so you can do what you do best. Really? I thought you asked because you wanted me to investigate for you. But if you'd rather be drinking... Oh, you do have a sense of humor. How reassuring. Only if I'm a bit hungover. That's usually quite common. Oh, please drop the act about being the alcoholic heartbroken ex-cop, Sonny. It would undoubtedly suit you, but um, I've seen you scanning my room. From the second you set foot in here, you started working, and everything I say gets sorted in your brain. Am I right? That's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it's something like that. Well then, Sonny, come at me. Oh, well, that's something I don't hear often. With pleasure. Yeah, this is just... Uh... Yeah, I did miss uh, checking out everything in the environment. <laughs> okay, let's scan and do the work. I bet you spend a lot of your time staring into the mirror. Do you even recognize yourself? Maybe you were trying to be rude, but you know, that's a very good question. I was just trying to be rude. Oh, really? Well, then I'm sorry. Don't mention it. I, huh. It's like watching a... Um, uh, from what's, what's the sport called? The one with uh, sabers. Dueling. Dueling? Not saber, but uh, rapier? Not even rapier. Ah, uh, you know the one. It's like watching them duel with... Uh, with innuendo <laughs> like they they try to uh, to to out uh, out sleaze each other gee that is a uh, unique picture and kind of daring I admit I've never seen anything <laughs> quite like it before Fancy. Thank yes, you. I admit it's a little daring. 
I keep it. It evokes good memories. A precious old friend of mine. A most wonderful artist. He's got an eye, that's for sure, considering his model. Was that supposed to be some kind of compliment? I don't know. I don't compliment often. Not on purpose, anyway. Oh, you're funny. Yeah, I like I like the way she purrs while she's speaking. And like all of the all of the uh, animal people, all of the species have had a unique style of speaking which evokes the animal that, that uh, they are portraying. Like the slight whistle from Lewis while he speaks because of the teeth, you know? Or the... Um, or just Sonny and Marty being cocks. And... yeah. Aha! There we go! A collectible! This is one I, that I haven't found. The seventh rule of predation. Oh my goodness. He's eating a, a pigu. Wait, that's a goat! Oh no! Well then. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's a good way to do collectibles, because these are in-universe books. Actually sold. <laughs> You got a beautiful place here, Natasha. A peaceful little island on the ocean of madness with very classy furniture. Ibn likes me surrounded by elegant things, you know? You're an elegant thing yourself, sweetheart. Oh, that's charming. Thank you, detective. Okay. All right, let's... Uh... Seriously, how did you find me? Not even my boss knows where I live. Although I didn't include Ibn in my little private mission, some of his resources were still available to me. Yeah, let me guess. There's someone at the station working for him. Someone? You're so cute when you're playing naive. Have you ever had dealings with the police? Not in this city. And otherwise? Does it really matter, Mr. Featherland? Maybe it does. More than a little. I'm afraid you'll have to unravel that thread yourself. But you will find nothing but a dead end. All right, Natasha that's a question. A confident woman. I can exploit that. But I must be careful. Every part of her oozes danger. All right. Uh, she is confident. See, these are impressions. You get the impressions of them. That doesn't mean that they are correct. All right. That was a remarkable performance. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Do you perform here frequently? You're also the owner, if I'm not mistaken. Sadly, I don't have the time. But this stage still calls my name. And I perform just a few times a year. And always with a new song. So that was all the excitement. I have many admirers, if that's what you mean. Yes. Okay. Confident one, I can exploit that, but I must be careful. Every part of her rose is danger, confident and mysterious. Uh, picture on the wall is quite daring, we already talked about that. This place is very elegant and uh, so is your room. Like the the picture on the wall uh, on the wall is one specific part of her um, everything while the place um, kind of speaks to her ability to run the place itself and the room and the picture is in the room, so yeah, let's go big. The place is very elegant, and uh, so's your room. Why, thank you. I kind of feel like I'm in a museum. Well, 
That depends on the kind of museum. The kind with nice things. Oh. Suspiciously nice things, just like you. Do you think I'm suspicious? We'll see about that. Try me. Alright. Can you tell me about Ivan Westward? I don't care about him. Let's talk about you. Do you think one of the of your admirers might have been behind the threats? Do you think one of your admirers might be behind the threats? Those who admire me usually idolize me. No, I don't think it's one of them. You know, the soul of an animal is extremely complicated. Sometimes all it takes is a bad look or some small rejection to turn admiration into hate. That's a stillborn theory. No one hates me if they once loved me, Mr. Detective. Uh, you haven't been on the internet. Ah, I see. Okay, why Deborah? She's a nice girl, but why didn't you come to me? Oh yeah, she's also cool. Do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? This whole case stings. What are you? What are you trying to make me do? Uh, I don't think it's that she's trying to manipulate me. I think she. Uh, it, I mean, even if Ibn is, uh, if even if Ibn knows about the threats, and Deborah knew as well, so I don't think it's that she's trying to manipulate. Do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? I mean, was a warrant there? Big letters painted on the wall, but I mean. It's kind of difficult to go through this because I know what's happening next. Uh, why Deborah? She's a nice girl, but why didn't you come to me? Uh, come on. She's always under surveillance. Uh, so yeah, process of elimination. It's not about Deborah. It's not about the stinking case. Yeah, let's ask about the evidence. Do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? You may think I'm irresponsible, but I didn't keep any of it. I simply couldn't bear to look at them. Didn't you think maybe the police would need it? I didn't think I needed the police. Moreover, do you think the girlfriend of Ibn Wessler could ever turn to the cops? I see. So, what about me? How do I come into the picture? It sounds ridiculous, but you're my last hope. That does sound ridiculous, but I accept my ego and old habit. You can't do anything else, can you? Something like that. A leopard can't change its spots. Deep behind the diamond skin lies the truth. It doesn't matter how hard Natasha's trying to hide it. She's scared. Now I must concentrate to finally find out what I want to know. Okay. What was in those threats, exactly? The message itself is not a threat. It's just a word. But a word again and again is threatening. Exactly. So? You really don't have any idea? Which word could be used for a woman like me? I guess I do. Yes, I think I know what it could be. Whore. <clears throat> Cat got your tongue? Am I right? You heard it. I said what you were thinking. And yes, that was in the message. That was printed on the paper and painted on my wall. In giant red letters. Well, thank you for your honesty. Uh, so the game is called Chicken Police Painted Red. So I guess if there are other Chicken Police games, they would be called something 
they could be not like Chicken Police 2, but Chicken Police... Um, I forget the name of the... The New Year... Bloody New Year's, or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, uh, she's scared, confident, cold, mysterious. Now I must concentrate to finally find out what I want to know. What do I want to know? No one's ever seen the culprit, not even a shadow. Could the threats have anything to do with the dangerous relationship between you? I suggest you lie low. I mean, what about Filmar? Is he here because of you? Uh, what does Filmar have to... Wait, didn't he say... Yeah, didn't he say green eyes? Okay, yeah, let's go with Filmar. I'm curious. I forget what I've answered, what I answered, like the last time, which admittedly was like more than a year and a half ago. So, uh, um. Yeah, let's ask about Filmar, I guess. What about Filmar? Is he here because of you? Mr. Lowe helped me before, and yes, he was the first I approached. You've managed to curb my enthusiasm a little. Doesn't keeping two irons in the fire give me a better chance? But you don't have to worry. He didn't find anything. And he's not interested anymore. No matter how much I offer to pay him. Why? You'll have to ask him. I think I'll do that. Hey. A dark shadow from the past, an ex lover, a husband, maybe. So it's not a fan. So it's not a fan and not an inside job. What do you suspect? Uh. Like, the top one is us like probing for her in her past or we can just ask her directly but if but if she had like, if he, she suspected someone, wouldn't she... Wouldn't she take it up with... With uh, Ibn's resources? Wouldn't she act on her own? But, I mean... <laughs> Dark shadow from the past, an ex lover, a husband, maybe. Well, to use to use that word, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's ask about the the past. It's like going towards the mysterious. Um, trait impression here, I guess. Uh, I don't know. A dark shadow from the past. An ex-lover. A husband, maybe. I'm surprised you asked that just now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, I have my habits. Some call my methods peculiar. What a curious way to put it. I'm a curious kind of fellow. So? I've never been married. And I don't really have any serious relationship before Hobart. A more dangerous, not serious relationship, maybe? I've never been with anyone long enough for them to hate me. Love is just another face of hate. So is hate a face of love, then? I guess. Were you on the run? No, Mr. Featherland. I came to Clawville with a clean slate. And I'd like to believe it will stay that way. You mean as the girlfriend of Ibn Wessler, the biggest mob boss in Clawville. Yeah, good luck with that. 
Natasha is a mysterious woman, but I must gouge out at least one of her secrets. Enough games. It's time to know why I'm here. Okay, got some points for that, so... Uh... Oh yeah, let's stop beating around the bush. Let's stop know. beating about the bush. How do you know Molly? I'm prepared for that question, but it's still not easy. You knew very well that if you threw in the name of my wife, I'd come to you no matter how vague and suspicious the case was. I just want to know if you're simply a manipulator or you're really that desperate. I really know her. I'm not lying. Oh, really? How? Were you a nurse, too? Forgive me, but I don't think so. Don't be rude and so cynical, Sonny. I'm sorry, but that's me when feline claws are at my throat. Molly is an old and good friend of mine. She has nothing to do with this, but I knew that if I didn't mention it to you, you wouldn't have come. Yeah, Natasha, you're right there. I knew you were a decent fowl, that you would help me. That's what you're famous for. Don't go there. Flattery doesn't work. Look, forgive me. I shouldn't have brought your wife into this. You're right, you shouldn't have. But to be honest, I don't think she's my wife anymore. On paper she is, but I haven't seen her in years. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Really? <sighs> I, I did. I knew... I checked you out before I sent Deborah. Pluck me. This case is getting more and more intriguing. Okay. What exactly do you want from me? Or you played me from the start, didn't you? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the top one because she's confident. Place towards that. You played me from the start, didn't you? It wasn't my intention. I'm an old cock, Natasha. I've played too many of these games, and I've been on the losing side often enough. What, so like adventure? You're going to walk away? You're damn right. I don't know if it's worth it for me. Look, Sonny, money's not an issue. Oh, yeah, your fawn had already mentioned that. But unfortunately, it'll be hard to spend all that dough when I'm dead. Dead? Don't even say that. Do you have a gun? Me? Of course you, Natasha. Do you have it on you? Not at the moment. Well, let me give you some advice. Keep it with you, always. Maybe in your purse. You, you don't think they, whoever they are, would hurt me? Don't be naive, Natasha. You're right. I'll keep it with me. I don't want to scare you, but two cops snooping around can mess something like this up, even if it's just two roosters. You'll keep snooping? Thank you, Sonny. Maybe you're getting yourself into even deeper trouble with me. Thank me when this is all over. Ah, uh, 90%. True detective. Okay, so it's not 100%, it's... Uh... So for 100%, it's living legend. True detective is. Uh, I think it's good enough for the achievement. Uh, oh well. Oh well. Wait, can I? Just one more thing, Sonny. Natasha. Please come to 37 Rochester Street in Flower Town tonight. I'd like to show you something that could be of a great help in your investigation. I was afraid this was coming. Why there? Why not here and now? It's something I keep hidden there. I won't take the risk of Ibn or one of his men seeing it. Isn't Ibn too dangerous to keep secrets from? Sonny, a woman is naked without her secrets. Hmm. I knew you would understand. Oh yeah, I understand everything. So, when do we meet? The night is almost over. I'll be there in an hour. Don't be early, and don't be too late. Look, Natasha, you know... Please, this is very important to me. Sure, I get it. I'll be there. Thank you. 
Until later, Natasha. Goodbye, Sonny. Okay, new item. What? What's the new item? Hmm. 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 Indeed. Hey, right, well, what do we have here? People, Natasha. Is a mysterious woman indeed and seems dangerous too, but she's undoubtedly in serious trouble. The question is, is she the source of the problem or is it someone else? Hey, okay, Filmar. It seems Filmar also used to work for Natasha, but he got out of the case before the ground got too hot. Anyway, he kept a piece of evidence as any good PI would do. Which could be very useful to us. Alright, Marty, I forgot about him. Natasha is afraid and her fear is genuine, but she isn't telling me everything regardless and I don't like it. Natasha has invited me to her weekend house to show me something. In any other situation I'd be I would be glad about it, but in this case I am worried. The threat or rather, the threatening word in the messages sent to Natasha was simply whore. It's brief, but it says a lot, regardless. Okay, anything else? Nothing. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, I have to talk to Fjomar on the outside. Well, weren't you supposed to be waiting in the car? I was bored to tears, Sonny. I also thought maybe something happened to you. You thought Natasha had eaten me alive, huh? Well, who knows? You're such a fragile little thing. I'm too old for this, Marty. Then next time, leave the dangerous predators to me. I didn't mean that, Marty. I meant you. Oh. What? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, hey, Olivia. I think... Okay, henchman. Excuse me, pal. My name is Santino Featherland. Eh? Uh, Gabriel, what do you want? Chickens. Do you happen to know where Mr. Wessler went? Do you take me for a fool? Get out of here while I'm in a good mood, birds. Okay. Thanks, big boy. Sheesh. Listen, pal, uh, maybe if, uh... Did I stutter, chicken? Get lost. Alright, let's see what's, what's about Gabriel. What do we have about Gabriel? Gabriel the Grinder Antipof. Antipof? Links. Link, links. Links, links, links. <laughs> Quiet and deadly, he's most likely from Stavonia. The, this bobcat is most likely even Westward's go. Yeah, no shit. Hello, Olivia. Westler's secretary. Olivia Blackwig. You think she knows anything useful? It's worth a try, Marty, but let me do the talking. She's not very fond of you. What can I say? You know, back in the day, I flew from tree to tree. I was a free bird. Maybe I was playing her a bit. Oh, it's you. How can I help you, gentlemen? Look, we really don't want to dig into your personal life, but... But what exactly is my relationship with Mr. Wessler? And how close am I to him? You don't beat around the bush, ma'am. Well, actually, I remember. I don't have time to chit-chat, Mr. Featherland. So yes, I'm not one to beat around the bush. Sheesh. And no, I'm not sleeping with Mr. Wessler. <laughs> well, thanks for the uh, quick and straight answer. Anything else? Hi. Right. Look, uh, Olivia, you know, last time... Please, Marty, there's no need. Uh, yes, there is. I know I wasn't a gentleman, and I know I should have called you, but I was young and... You don't have to explain. I wasn't waiting long for your call. I forgot about it fast. That's good to hear, I suppose. Do you come here often, Olivia? No, not really. Well, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. 
You know, Ibn's not as ferocious as you'd think. On the contrary, he's become very different recently. I heard. Don't you find that weird? A sudden change of heart? Sometimes an animal just has enough. Fed up and wants a change. I deeply respect that. Well, thank you for your honesty, ma'am. What's your relationship with Miss Natasha Katsenko? We've talked a bit, that's all. There's no uh, tension between you? You know, the pretty secretary. Well, thank you for your compliment, Mr. Featherland. No, no tension. Natasha's an intelligent woman. I respect her. Is that mutual? That I can't tell. If I'm not mistaken, Natasha has a weekend house in Flowerville. Yeah, that's right. Can you tell me anything about it? I've never been there. Allegedly, it's beautiful. Elegant and luxurious. Just like Natasha herself. All right, well. I... <sighs> if this was any other adventure game, I would be able to get this drink out and ask her about it, but... Come to death. Hey. Fox fella stage. Oh. You know, Sonny, I love Laura, and I swear I'm gonna marry her one day. But I gotta admit, that Natasha woman has turned even my head. I wouldn't mess with Laura if I were you, pal. Wouldn't even think about it. There are few women as dangerous as her. And not just because she's a predator. Ah, you're telling me. Or the moon hangs in the sky. <laughs> hey, Big Nose, where did Mr. Wessler go? Unfortunately, I don't know, Big Faith. But I wouldn't tell you even if I did. Really? Say, did anyone ever tell you that you're an irritating piece of sh- <clears throat> uh, Anything else, dear sirs? How? Uh, what? What's their problem with the bartender? Sheesh. Isn't that Filmar standing- uh, yep. Right, right. So, have you talked to Natasha? In fact, yes. She was, uh, kind of mysterious. I bet she was. You know, I've never abandoned a case before. Not voluntarily, anyway. But that woman... You're, uh, too old for this shit, huh? <laughs> As you say, pal. That's exactly how I felt, too. Before you leave, take this and examine it closely. What is it? The reason I've decided all of this is not worth it for me. Wow, that sounds encouraging. Take care of yourselves, guys. This case... Maybe it goes deeper than you'd think. Oh, that makes my feathers stand on end. Ah, old croakers. You're safe while I'm here. <laughs> okay, okay, I didn't say anything. Uh, hey, what's the what's the thing? We stepped into it, didn't we? Okay, we what is it? it? A bunch of numbers and a bunch of names. Of all that's furry, what kind of a list is this? Exactly. I have no idea, but I don't even want to find out. Those names, all top dogs. Maybe they play cards together. Sure, that's very likely. Anyway, I pried this list out of a dead man's hand. Somebody dropped him outside the forest, a few miles from the Wessler residence. I should have known she was keeping secrets. Keeping secrets? She's the secret herself. Thanks, Filmar. This could be important. Ah, uh, don't thank me. Maybe I've just signed your death warrant. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah, oh, shut up, Marty. Alright, new location. Uh, more people. Jesus, the weekend house. Natasha Katsenko's weekend house. It sounds... It stands in the cleanest and most separated quarter of the city in Flowerville. Uh, I'm curious about what she's hiding in there. Okay, what's the clue? 
I only I only recognize the few names on the list Fiomar shoved into my hand, but all of them belong to the respected elite of Cloville. It could be a wedding roster, but I doubt that's the case. Okay, Olivia. Marty dated Olivia for a short period of time. That's it! I don't want to know more about this. After the show, we even left the Tsar Club suspiciously fast. The list with all those imposing names must have something to do with Natasha and this with the threats too. Okay, well, let's get out of here. I don't see any collectibles around, so yeah, let's get out. Uh, how do I get off here? Okay. Cloverville. Now uh, we can go to the Hop Dog, to the Cloverville Police Department. Now yeah, let's go to the Hop Dog. Maybe there's gonna be something Ooh, new here. A nice cup of coffee a la Zip, huh? We're not here for the coffee, Marty. Zip always knows more than what he lets on. It'd be worth interrogating the old trash panda. If he forgave us for wrecking his joint last time. He'll never forgive us, Marty, but we helped him out of trouble so many times, he's not gonna have any choice. I hope you're right, old bird. Okay, didn't we already go through this? Ah, geez, oh, wait. boys. Out of 2,000 joints in the city, I had to end up here, huh? Hello to you too, Zip. How's it hanging? I had no problems, until now. Ah, oh, don't be such a drama queen. We just want to ask you a couple of questions, then we're out of here. And we won't even trash your place this time. What do you say? I say let's get it over with very, very quickly, chickens. Relax, pal. We'll be as fast as a hummingbird. I'm not your pal. And you're as far from a hummingbird as I'm from a polar bear. Oh, come on, Zip. Don't be so hard on yourself. All right. Oh, hey, hi. Damn it, what's the scribbler doing here? Sniffing some juicy story. I think I still owe him a great big left hook. What did he do this time? Oh, nothing. Just since I first met him, I wanted to punch him in the face. I can understand that. Sheesh. Hi. Right, let's see. Who is that? Timothy Saltwater. Oh yeah, he's the um, the reporter that keeps reporting about the chicken police stuff. Loud, annoying, and overly enthusiastic. And unfortunately, he is the number one fan of the Chicken Police. Scribbler Tim, real name Timothy Saltwater. He is a douchebag, a really nosy bastard, and an annoying little shit. But still, I have to admit, he is the best invest investigative reporter in Cloville. Back in the day, he had a big part in the Chicken Police becoming what we were for a long time real star cops. Oh, yeah, let's talk about uh, talk to Tim. Hello, Timothy. Scribblers don't celebrate New Year's. Hello, boys. <laughs> what a pleasure to see you. Answering your question? No, not really. Not me, anyway. I'm always where the story is. Mm-hmm. And where's the story now? I can't see it anywhere. It just stepped through the door, pal. Oh, you mean us? Well, I think I'll have to disappoint you. The chicken police are back together? I, I can't let that go without an ink stain, am I right? No, Timmy, you can. We're not working, we're just having a little fun, that's all. Mm, I'm not buying that, boys. You'll have to, Tim. Eh, we'll see about that. Hmm. Is that rag you work for still around, Tim? You mean the most read and highest ranking newspaper of the city, the Clawville Chronicle? Oh yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> I see that you still have your famous sense of humor, Sonny. Such a joy. <laughs> yeah, I do. Alright. I guess that's it. But Can I ask you about... Oh, there we go. Look what we found, Zip. Furry hell! Who'd you beat to death for that? <laughs> beat to death? Who do you think we are? We simply confiscated it. Yo, sneaky broilers. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. It's worth three times that. 
Oh, come on, give me a break. Tough luck, Trash Panda. We also ran into Filmar. Filmar? Who's that? A grumpy old raggedy ass hawk. His manners are even worse than mine. Ring a bell? You mean Marlo? Was Marlo. Now he goes by Filmar Lowe. Ah, oh, I see. So that means he's still alive? Yeah, I'm almost not surprised. The old guy has a reputation of being indestructible, huh? He is. And he gave us something that could mean something. Look at this, Zip. Holy crap, what's this? The guest list at a king's birthday party? Hey, that's not even a bad guess. What do you make of it? This piece of paper's from so high up where I've never been myself, boys. So don't ask me. Hmm. Uh, I guess we can ask Louis. Because he's the... Like Kibben said, that he's the talk of the town. Like, I mean, he's one of the fancy people in the town. We spoke to Natasha. She's scared. Well, it's not good life insurance to be the girl of the most powerful gangster in the city. It's not about that. Someone's been writing offensive messages to her. She feels threatened. I only know that every second husband in the city wants to have her. And every second wife wants to wring her neck because of that. Nothing else. Thanks, Zip. But we're not any further ahead. But not further back, right? All right. So, out with it. Stop winding me up. We've just come from the Czar Club, Zip. Who do you think we met? Uh, if I can guess one, I'd say, uh, was it His Majesty Hobart Ibn Wessler, the Rat Prime himself? That on, pal. What a surprise. So, what do you want to know? Just because I don't know anything. Of course you don't. Just a couple questions. Go on, boys. Hurry up, will you? Uh, well, I mean, I already... Uh, never mind. Timothy, nothing. Oh, yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, nothing new around. Alright, let's go to the police station. I don't know, Sonny. What exactly are we doing here? Let's hope we can learn something about Natasha and Ibn by sniffing around before we visit that weekend house in Flowerville. Learn something? From Phyllis and Roy's? Well, I wasn't exactly thinking about them. Yeah, figures. Yeah, let's talk to... Oh, snap, what was, what was her name? The hummingbird lady. Uh, where is she? Where is she? Monica, yeah. Now well, let's check in with these dudes. How's it going tonight, boys? Uneventful so far, Sonny. But now that you're rolling together again, I suppose we'll have some excitement to look forward to. What do you mean? Are you kidding? Last time you shot up a theatre, and if I remember correctly, each other. <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, complicated evening. I sure. <laughs> complicated. See, it's, it's, mm, so much possibility for so many different stories. I hope they make more Chicken Police. I hope it was a successful game. Oh, I missed this. Honor, strength, and unity. Pigs, ruffians, and vigilantes. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah. Uh, collectible. Don't see collectibles. Aren't they making a second one? I I don't know if they have announced it. I have missed it. I am hoping that there's more, because I freaking love this. Uh, okay, Monica. Hello. Please tell me about Natasha. So soon? That was fast. Almost a record. Sorry, Mon. We're just here for a little. Uh info when are you not here for that boys how about wish me a happy birthday for a change what 
Is it your birthday today? Of course not. Don't be silly, Marty. You know exactly when it is. We've talked about it a dozen times. Yeah, <laughs> of course I know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, could you help us with this and that? Of course, boys, but be quick about it. I'm in over my head with paperwork and blood boils breathing down my neck. We'll be quick like a hurricane. That's, that's not a thing. Guess who we met today in person, Mon? King Hector III? Even better, the one who commands the king. Wait a minute, Hobart Wessler? Damn right, Hobart Ibn Wessler in the flesh. Wow, and you're still alive. That's quite an accomplishment. But seriously, have you heard that he wants to get out of the black market business? Allegedly, he's trying to clear his name with some kind of new meat substitute. His name's going to be rather difficult to clear. It's a heroic and impossible venture. I haven't heard about it, but it's an interesting addition to what I know. Which is? Evan's been acting very strange lately, and he left most of his business dealings to one of his goons, Mickey. Also known as the Butcher, the Mongrel, and the Slayer. Yeah, we once had the pleasure of meeting him. That's all I know, boys. I know it's not very much, but it's something, I guess. I'll keep my ears open. Thanks, man. Oh, there's a post on the Steam forum with them being cheeky about the to be continued thingy. Yes! Okay, that's sweet. I'm so excited. It's uh, definitely a day one purchase for me. Listen, Mon, a reliable old friend shoved this into my hand. Could you take a quick glance at it? Hmm, quite an imposing list. What could those numbers mean? It could be a date even, but no, this is something else. That's what we were thinking too, and we got nowhere. But you see a lot of documents. So, is there anything familiar about this? Unfortunately not, boys. The names are imposing indeed, but based on this, it could be almost anything. The richest of the rich get together on all kinds of excuses. Huh, it must be a secret cult. It could be, of course, but also anything else. I'm sorry I couldn't help you more. Ah, oh, don't mention it, Mon. Thanks for your time. Or... wait a minute. There is something... Oh, stop teasing us, Mon. I'm sure you've noticed that all the names on the list are men, right? Yeah, of course we noticed. Uh, thanks for the observation, Monica. Don't mention it. I'm just a receptionist. <laughs> oh, poor Monica. We saw a pretty good show at the Czar Club tonight. Good for you, I guess. Natasha? Natasha. She performed a new song. She also sang about why she called us there. Or rather, me. And? That's confidential, Dollface. Anyway, I can't help wondering about that woman. Her past is a mystery. I couldn't draw much out of her in person, either. Women like her always have something to hide, Sonny. I think that's exactly what makes men fall head over heels for them. I know another broad who's all mysterious. Oh, yeah? What's her name? I'll look her up if we have a file on her. I shut up. Oh. You mean me, right? All mysterious, full of secrets, and grace. I didn't even hear that, Marty. <laughs> Do we have a file on a woman called Olivia Blackwig? She's currently working as Ibn Wessler's assistant. Hmm, we don't have a file on her, but there are a few Blackwigs that could be related to her. Mountain Goat, Crow, or Cayman. Crow, around 30 to 35, a very pretty socialite. Maybe we have a catch then. Theodore Blackwig was a rather influential banker until he went bankrupt. He died a few years back, but his daughter could have ended up in the same social circles as Eben. And since they lost their money, she took a job as his assistant. Yeah, it would fit the picture, but it's a big city, Sonny. There are maybe more than one Crow family with a Blackwig name living here. Hmm, thanks, Mon. I'm glad I could help, boys, as always. If it doesn't take a lot of my time, that is. We know, we know. We're not even here anymore. Thank you, Monica. Let's see, what do you have to say, Bosco? Hey, big guy. Hey, Cox, what's up? Back here so soon? 
Did you get nostalgic all of a sudden, Sonny? I'd rather be anywhere else than here, Bosco. But we're sniffing around on a case. Hoo-hoo! Are you trespassing again? Who? Us? What are you thinking? Ah, uh, just an old case. Still open. Not official, but not active either. We're not bothering anyone. You know, old habits die hard. I know, I know. I'm just messing with you. So, how can I help you? Hey, tell me about Philmar Lowe. Do you still remember Philmar? Do you mean Philip? Of course I remember. He's got quite the reputation with that Philmar alias. We just met him. Small world, huh? Do you know what he's up to these days? Yeah, as far as I know, he's investigating petty blackmail cases and sneaking after poor bastards cheating on their wives. Anything else? Did he get mixed up in something that stirred up a storm recently? Yeah, I don't know about that. We haven't seen him at the PD for a while. He's usually a frequent visitor. Why? Did he run into some fishy business again? Possible, Bosco. But I'm not sure he'd want to make the same mistake. Wise decision. Listen, Bosco. What do you make of this list? Maybe it's the guest list of some fancy ball. These are some rather influential names, the ones I recognize anyway. Movie stars, politicians, a few names from the Council of Twelve even, if I'm not mistaken. You're not. Are you blackmailing them? Because if you are, I'll gladly accept a nice big juicy bone in exchange for my silence. Stop screwing around, Bosco. It has nothing to do with our case. Which is what, exactly? Mm, we're still not gonna tell you. Listen, Bosco, what have you heard about that singer, Natasha Katsenko? <laughs> you mean that little bimbo fooling around with Ibn Wessler? They say she's the jackpot. But I've never been into cats, you know. You couldn't be more racist if you tried, Bosco. <laughs> don't misunderstand me. I don't have a problem with cats at all. I'm simply allergic to them. I can't stand being around them. I don't even take cases with cats. Good for you. I should have used that excuse myself. Why? Is your investigation related to her? What? No, of course not. We, we just came from her show. That's why I asked. <laughs> and what's she like? Well, I guess your cat allergy would go away for the rest of your life if you met her. <laughs> really? Uh, maybe I'll have a go and see for myself one day. Alright. Anything else around here? Don't think so. Uh, okay. What do we have? Hector the Third, the Fox King. Hector the Third, or as most animals call him, the Fox King, is the third member of the Falloi Falloi dynasty. Falloi? Ah, uh, Louis Falloi Falloi. Although Clovio is a small state, its king is amongst the most influential animals of the wilderness. Not because of the city's sexual importance, but for riches of its faraway colonies. Oh, so the king has colonies, not the city itself. I see. Although Clovio is a monarchy, the actual power and jurisdiction, aside from the king, are in the hands of the Council of Twelve. Or, as most animals think, entirely, and the king himself is only a puppet and a symbol. The members of the council are the mightiest enemies in the city after the king, employing not only politicians but influential businessmen as well. Cool. Okay. Cool, got some... some information. Now yeah, let's head to Flowerville. I think I'm just gonna check out what's uh, happening in Flowerville and call it a day. Just gonna visit the weekend house and uh, yeah, end it for today. Well, if there's one thing I'd learned during 20 years of detective work, it's that if someone wants to meet you at a remote location at night, you should bring an army for backup.
One time, me and Marty were stupid enough to underestimate a situation like that, and we never really recovered. And yet, here we were again, about to step alone into something hauntingly familiar. Only one tactic remained, as the old dogs say. Balls to the wall. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. I wouldn't say I like it either. Let's take a look around before we go inside. Textbook. I'm telling you, it's a trap. Shut up, Marty. Alright. What's up? Damn. It's not a good sign. Maybe she just lost it when she hurried into the house. Yeah, right. Do you think it belongs to Natasha? No idea. Do you think I measured her feet when I was in her room? I'm not sure I want to know, but I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. So, this is the word. What can I say? The message is loud and clear. Yeah, what matters is who is it for and what does it mean? I can't misunderstand that if I wanted to. We'll see. Wait a second, did that bimbo put a spell on you? As you used to say, don't let it cloud your objective judgment, boss bird. Watch who you're talking to, boy. You wrote that down? It burned into my mind. Should we take it? Hell no, I'll buy you one if you want. This is police business. Do you mean the real cops? Do you think? I'm almost certain. My crest is tingling. Damn it. Well, thank God I have a weapon on me, or two. When do you not have one? Fair point. Mm -hmm. Chicken police, hands up. Marty, that's enough. Chicken police. Okay, anything else around here? Entrance. All right, let's go in. Marty, before we enter, did you bring Big Bertha? Of course. She's in the trunk. It's time to get Her Majesty out. That's what I like to hear. Let's go. Hello, my beauty. Just don't point it at me. Aw, scared? Take it easy. I swore I'm not gonna shoot you again. Very gallant of you, partner. Why, are you still pissed at me? I'm happy to remind you why you got shot the first time. I get it. Just shut the fuck up already. Yeah, what the hell happened? Ah, more chicken, please. Give me. Uh, what? I haven't done... Hmm. Okay, well, let's go in. It's the nothing. Uh, what was that? Eh, forget it. Just an old quote from a movie. It means it's fucking dark in here. <sighs> Flashlight. I didn't bring one. Uh, me neither. What a pair of fucking professionals. Yep. But you do have a shotgun with you. We should have shotguns for this kind of deal. Is that from an old movie? No, it's an original. Figures. She was lying on the floor, as if she was sleeping. She looked peaceful, almost. The large pool of blood ruined the picture. Poor, delicate Deborah. Maybe you were too pure and innocent for this city. But in the end, its filth pulled you under. You know, no animal can swim in high heels. Wild gods! Fuck even! Yeah, it's her. Deborah. The girl who came to my office. I figured. But what the hell happened? Was it Natasha? Is this what she wanted us to see? No. I mean, I don't think so, Marty. She seemed very attached to the girl, and I believed her. Furthermore, she has no motive to kill her. Natasha meant some object. Something maybe the killer wanted, too. 
and the poor girl was trying to protect it. Did she seem that kind of girl? She risked a lot simply by coming to see me. She would have done it for her mistress. Why is she naked? Was this sexual? I mean, there's no sign of struggle. She seems untouched. Maybe she knew her assailant. Was it a lover? This looks premeditated. So far, the messages have appeared in weird places, but this, this is a new level. It's no longer just about empty threats. Well, maybe Natasha's on her way here right now. Or she was already here and something happened to her too. Kidnapped or worse. Those are possibilities, but we can't wait. We don't have time for guessing. Search the house, search everything. The room's not trash. Whoever did this wasn't looking for the same thing we are. Or they knew exactly where to find it. Wait, what are we looking for exactly? I have no idea, but it's something important. Things like that have a way of getting noticed when you come across them. Amen to that. Alright, yeah, she doesn't look very uh, peaceful. Like, with the... Is the tongue stick out? I don't know, it's weird. Alright, yeah, this will be it for today. We are gonna examine this room and uh, everything next time. Which would be... Um, yeah, I don't know when. Maybe tomorrow evening? Yeah, we'll see. Maybe tomorrow evening, maybe next week, next uh, next weekend. But yeah, all right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Yeah, it is. It's like I said. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite adventure games uh, in recent years. All right, I am off. I need to eat something and damn I want to continue but I need a break all right see you next time bye bye